I was an explainer here at the New York Hall of Science in 2009 while I was a sophomore in college. I graduated from Queens College with a bachelor's degree in English and I double minored. So I did psychology and journalism. Ever since I became an explainer, I kind of landed consistently different kind of jobs. But I feel like my time here as an explainer really helped me develop certain skills needed to do many different kinds of jobs. So for example, I was a flight attendant. I worked on an Oscar winning documentary afterwards and eventually became a journalist. But I feel like it all kind of started here. So the transition from being an explainer here at the New York College of Science into a full-time job didn't happen automatically. I was still a college student, so I had to graduate. So in three years, I eventually made it to a full-time position. So I feel like the camaraderie and community that I felt here at the New York College of Science really helped build a foundation for me and kind of gave me some insight into what working with a community within a company would feel like, even at such a young age. Stick to whatever they feel passionately about, regardless of whether it's lucrative necessarily or what their friends or family might tell them. It's really important to nurture that and to follow your gut. Uh, you'll never regret following your gut, honestly, or doing something that is really worthwhile to you, never in the long run. You might regret listening to someone's opinion, whether it be a family member, a mentor, or a friend, but if you're truly passionate about something, just stick to it. My favorite part about being an explainer was that moment, that kind of aha moment you get when you're showing someone an exhibit or discussing it, whether it's a child or an adult, and they finally understand the science behind it or they pick up on whatever concept you're trying to share. It really makes it feel like you made a difference that day and the job feels worthwhile. Being an explainer impacted my career choice by instilling a sense of curiosity within me, which I took to many other jobs, and I think it's necessary in journalism to just be curious about the world and ask questions. And you see that every day here as an explainer. You have children coming up to you and asking you different kinds of questions. So it really, really helped nurture that within me. And it's something that I still treasure and use today. The way my career path has gone, it's not, I think a lot of people have said this before, I've heard it. It's not like a graph, it's not linear. It's, it's very <laughs> topsy-turvy. It takes a lot of turns. I've always wanted to work at the New York College of Science. I grew up, like I mentioned, across the street from here. And I would always see it. And I thought this was like such a fantastic institution of science and learning, I feel that, again, just the way this program has been run for so many years and the success that it's had, I really learned a lot of core values of what it means to be a part of a successful like company and business model and be a part of something that has so much like love and time and, and a sense of community within it. And I've always looked for that in other companies. I always asked a lot of questions. I always volunteered. I put my hand up for a lot of different projects. and. It turns out that it worked out in my favor.